I S U P K. To the family, brother Red Pill representing on the ledge. Do me a favor, family. Make sure you subscribe to I S U P K on YouTube. Get some of that fire that the brothers are delivering. Some of that good information, all right? Brat. I want to give a short uh, shout out to the 12 tribes of Israel before I go into what's been bothering me today. It's been bothering me for a week. It's been bothering me pretty much since I came into the truth. Which I came into the truth maybe about four years ago. But something's been just getting at me as I just look at our people, as I look at blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and I'm going to bring it out right now. But first I want to give... Um, 12 tribes of Israel is proper greeting as I do well, uh, before I start every one of my speakings. Yeah, James 1 and 1, go ahead. James chapter 1 verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Read it as it's written, brother. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. The water, go ahead. To the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. Greeting the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. The tribe of Judah, which are so-called Negroes or uh, uh, African-Americans so-called. Uh, the tribe of Benjamin, our brothers in the West Indies, in particular Jamaica. Uh, Levi, our brothers in Haiti. Uh, Simeon, our brothers in the DR, aka the Dominican Republic. Uh, Zebulon, our brothers from Guatemala on the Panama. Um, Ephraim, our brothers the Puerto Ricans, uh, Manasseh, our brothers the Cubans, Gad, our North American Indian brothers and sisters, Reuben, our Seminole Indian brothers and sisters, um, Naphtali, which are our brothers from, you know, in Argentina and in Chile, Asher, our brothers in the rest of South America, from Colombia to Uruguay, and Issachar, our Mexican brothers and sisters. I say greetings to all of you. The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Not lost anymore. We are found. We are found. The ISUPK has known who you are ever since the 60s. And we've been laboring almost 50 years to bring that to you. Okay, something that's been getting on my nerves here as of late, seeing it. I'm sick of seeing it. And I have issues with seeing it. I've been seeing it a lot, even just today. I want y'all to follow along. It's homosexuality. That's right. I'm about sick of seeing my people being a bunch of freaks and homos. That's right. It's an abomination before the Most High, right. and we and that was not our spirit before we came on here. You know why? Because when we before we came to this damn nation, we had our law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Even though we got away from our culture, certain things we just kept. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have any homosexuals among our people when we were on the boats before we got over here. You know why? Because we had laws going even before our, our, our um, forefathers who were in slavery that put you to death for being a homosexual. You want to know where that law came from? Give me Leviticus 18 and 22. Well, where did that law come from? The scriptures, or as I people call it just back there in the Torah. Torah just meaning um, Thawarai in Hebrew, which means the laws. That's where the law came from. You, our people, I mean, so-called white people have always been homosexuals. Always. Going back to when they were in the caves, 
going back to when they were, um, they had taken over the ruling rule in Greece and Rome. The white man and woman and child has always been a homosexual, a bisexual, and a freak, and they still are now. They still are now. When you look at the little secret, when you look at the little secret circles of those so-called white people that are exclusive to them, all that freak nasty madness that they, that they do behind closed doors, they keep it to themselves and call you a brute and every damn thing else because you won't do that. At least spiritually you won't. Spiritually you don't believe in that. Hell, when our people are doing that homosexuality, normally it's on the down low. In fact, we got our brothers up there in Atlanta, where we got a lot of our, a lot of leaders of our school are there in Atlanta this weekend to try to educate our brothers and sisters in Atlanta and see if we can demonic homosexuality out of our people. And I say, for part of your how for that. It just shows you that ISUPK, we're not about just uh, bringing problems out. We're about solutions. You know what I'm saying? We want to come up with a solution. And the number one way to solution, you know, to come up with a solution, educate our people on everything they are doing wrong. This homosexuality is an abomination and it's something of the natures of, of the nations. It's never been our spirit to be homosexuals. It's never been our spirit to be bisexuals. It's never been our, our spirit to be lesbians and freaks and transsexuals and trisexuals and all this other extra. That's not what we do. That's not who we are. Our people knew this because they read the Bible, that their record, their culture, the Bible. Leviticus 18 and 22. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Thou shalt not lie with man. What's going on, Hebrew? Thou shalt not lie with mankind as a womankind. That is simple and plain, y'all. Repeat that. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Black man, you are not to lie with mankind as you do womankind. Simple and plain. You don't even need a whole lot of complication with that. You are not supposed to stick your rod inside another man. Simple and plain. That's a simple law. To even do so, I'm tired of hearing the homos defend that by saying they have they, that they just grew up or, or was born with love for another man. That is that's garbage. That's insulting the most high because he didn't make man do that. He made man to be upright. You know what I'm saying? That is lust. It is that homosexuality is the same thing. It, it's the same thing as taking drugs. It's carnal lust. It's following de it's chasing demons. Hey uh Officer Ayash Kapwad, wasn't homosexuality uh, considered a mental disease as far back as the 60s or the 70s? Absolutely correct. That's what it is. It's a mental disease. Yeah, right. Whichever, whichever Edomite said it was a mental disease back then was actually correct. Homosexuality is a mental disease. It is not natural, it's disgusting, and it's destructive. And it's, and, and it's a big reason why people are destroyed. Because all the new AIDS cases, the majority of the new AIDS cases are all uh, our women, black and Hispanic women. And why? Big, yeah, the water, sir. Big high rate here in Dallas. Heavy, uh, a heavy uh, ratio of young black women and young Hispanic women getting this HIV here in Dallas. And I mentioned Atlanta, it is huge out there. Washington, D.C., that's another one. New Orleans, that's another one. Why? Yeah. Obviously, San Francisco, they openly love homosexuals out there. Hell, they made a movie going into um, the political career of, a career of one homo named Harvey Milk, who um, was, vote, was, was voted in, into some kind of political office. Hell, that, that damn devil even tried to join the Black Panthers. For real, he did. Wow. At least try to. All the TV shows are promoting homosexuality. Yeah, right, that's exactly. Right, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Everything, everything that one homo Tyler Perry does, they they put a show they put a show out on it. You know what I'm saying? That no, that's the most popular show on the network right now. Right 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 Who does that? A, a homo 
homosexual named Lee Daniels. He wrote and produced and produced the rest of all that. That's why, you know, we don't all the way support, you know, the things Monique does with her life. But I was all the way on board with her when she called out that homo Lee Daniels and then called it that homo Tyler Perry and that homo lover Oprah Winfrey. Monique was on the money with all that now. Monique got a whole lot she got to repent for, but she was definitely on some spiritual when she when she told all them to go on to hell. That's right. That's right. And she said a few other things that I don't endorse her saying, and no sister should ever say them type of words, but spiritually she was on to something. Right, right. Go ahead and finish uh, 18 and 22. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Simple and plain. It is an abomination. In other words, it's a filthy, wicked, disgusting act that the Most High hates. So, right there is reason to turn your back on the Christian church because they are a haven of homosexuality. They had one known. They had one known homo, Eddie Long, die this year. You know what I mean? Like when you're in the Yeah, and at the Rodia Howell for that. For killing that wicked Negro. It's just a, it, it, it's a, it's a uh, haven for it. It's a, it's a rest haven for homosexuality. In fact, it's all, among the churches, it's almost a community of homosexuals now. Everybody knows the choir director is a homosexual. Everybody knows half the deacons are homosexuals. And we know that Big Mama sitting up there is a lesbian too. And a freak, because she'll do men too. Sitting up there with kids. He was just sitting there looking. Sitting up there with kids, but they will have sit up there and have a relationship with a woman. It's disgusting, man. It is vile, and it's disgusting. It's and it's what's destroying our people. It's a big thing destroying our people. This this homosexuality on the down low, and now they're bringing it into the forefront now. Now they want to make. Now they want to. Now they want to entice your kids to be homosexuals or, or uh, accepting the homosexuals. That's what it is now. The music, the music, oh my goodness. The music business, full of homosexuals. That's right. Does anybody else have, to, does anybody, I'll just talk about Jake's. Forget so-called white people and forget everybody else. I'm talking about just Jake's, so-called Negroes. You cannot tell me that cat young thug ain't a homosexual, okay? This cat goes around saying we should throw we should throw out gender roles. He is posed on the cover of CDs with with a damn dress on, and he actually calls his friends. He calls them husband. And yet I'm not supposed to believe that guy's a homosexual. He is a nasty, disgusting homosexual, and it's against our law. We just read it in the law that you're not supposed to be a homosexual. Give me Leviticus 20 and 13. Because now I'm going to give you the, now I'm going to give you the penalty. Because when we get that kingdom again, when Christ returns, all that, hom that homosexuality is going to be done with. Because every, because everybody who's still um, chasing the, every one of our people still chasing the old Hershey Highway, when uh, Yahweh Shah, AKA Jesus Christ comes back, you're going to die. You're going to die, simple and plain. This, this, let me add a sign, somebody. Hey, uh, Officer McQuash, come here for a minute. All right. McQuash, appreciate it. Let me get the sign for a minute. This, by the way, is another reason you're a homosexual, because you serve this. That's right. You serve in this fake Christ. That's right. Jesus Christ was a black man. That's right. And Jesus Christ was too hardcore. For home, for, to be a homosexual. What? This guy, when you go into the uh, research of who this guy, this guy was a homosexual. This Caesar Borgia, he was a homosexual. In fact, his lover, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, painted this picture. That's right. Damn right it's a true story. Get up, brother hand. Damn right it's a true story. Homosexuality is an abomination. A lot of the reason our people are abominations is because they serve this homo. Yeah. 